welcome to the second video. The last one we left off here on Rank Tracker, and my KEI wasn't showing properly. So what I did was I went to KEI settings, go to number of searches, set this to Word Tracker. I had it set to the Google Keyword Tool, which requires a CAPTCHA, and it wasn't making it past it. So that's why it wasn't showing everything. So just change that there, uh, and then you'll be set. So I've gone through and picked out some keywords here after running the suggest tool um, using word tracker and the suggest tool also and managed to find some pretty good keywords here. Uh, the KEI isn't all that spectacular but it's doable and I think that we, we can get these. So we're going to start with these ones and I picked Start Vaping and Vapor Cigarettes Online uh, because this one's my main domain or has my has this keyword in my main domain and this one's pointed at my main domain. Uh, the reason I picked Start Vaping is just because it's a pretty catchy phrase uh, for, related to the niche. Uh, it'd be easy to throw in a business card. Uh, start Vaping isn't necessarily going to be a high search keyword um, but I just wanted it as the name of the site so I'm going to use other domains for search engine friendly keywords to point at it. Um, you don't have to do that at all. Uh, it's just something that I do. Uh, like I explained in the first video, if you have some keywords that you're having a hard time ranking for, uh, just get a domain for it. Uh, you're going to rank pretty close to the number one spot pretty easy just from having the keyword in the domain and if somebody else has the keyword in another uh, domain like a .ca and you have a .com uh, you guys will be battling it out on the first page pretty much so you guaranteed first page if you get your keyword in the domain and you use the SEO tools especially guaranteed so I'm just gonna copy these keywords here And we're going to put them into. Oh, my Sanook is just a little bit outdated. That's okay. We're going to make a. I'm just doing this for the with the tutorial. So. Where is my... There it is. And since I have that my other domain pointed, I might as well throw that in there too. I'm just going to jump onto the desktop here. Uh, this is where I have my most of my stuff running. I already have the bio spinner open, so might as well use that one. And we'll call this vapor smoking. And we'll pick health as the category. And I'm just going to jump back on here and grab the bio. Normally I would put all my Sanook campaign on the server too. I just wanted to do it on here for the video. Um, so I got these new templates here that I'm going to put on the desktops tonight. And I got them from that Internet Marketing Masters site. It's a, a site that uh, me and my co-worker here uh, at Extreme SEO Tools found. And uh, these sites are pretty, or these templates are pretty big. And the way they explained them on, on the site was actually pretty neat. They have all these little toolboxes that go in there and 
delete any inactive links right after and I thought that was really cool how they had it set up something worth trying anyways I'm gonna give it a shot and just check the Sanuk templates box on your desktop or a folder on your desktop I'll put I'll throw those in there with the other ones let's check out one of those other ones having a hard time loading it up. So big. Oh, there's a few changes there. So then he just threw a bunch of PDFs in there instead. Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. Have to give those ones a try. Looks pretty interesting. I'm not gonna pick one of those for the temp for the video though. It's gonna take for a long time, so I'm going to go down here and pick the Calibus was always one of my favorite ones. Back in the day. They're all chained here. I thought it I used to use this one quite a bit. It still gets quite a bit of results. Maybe we'll check one of these other ones. Um, but normally during the week when I'm doing my SEO on a on a weekly basis, I'll I'll use the full Monty. Every Sunday I'll spend the day and uh, just do all my sites. Uh, I got quite a few of them, so I'll, I'll do like five campaigns for each site, and then set it for seven days. And for each five campaigns, I usually do between five and ten keywords now that Sanuk lets you put any amount of keywords in and obviously a search engine ranker you can put as many as you want in there so one thing I wanted to point out to you was for emails GSA has a cool link in it that takes you to a place right so click on email verification in one of your projects and click on buy accounts and it takes you to where you can buy Hotmail accounts that already have the filter set. I just thought that was really neat. I didn't know that there was a service like that out there. So you don't have to worry about any of the sites sending a email verification to your junk folder because you can now use these accounts because sooner or later the Sanuk pre-made Hotmail accounts are going to run out during the week and they only reset once every Sunday or Monday so uh, some people are going to are going to miss out on having some pre-made Hotmail accounts so um, the easiest thing to do is just go here and spend twelve dollars on a thousand Hotmail accounts and you never have to worry about your Hotmail accounts anymore so I already have some here I had to click on here. When you buy them, they give you a. Oh, actually, I don't even need to do that. That's for GSA. Okay. I'm just being silly. Right here, put your Hotmail in. So for you'll put your email in the email address and your email and the username. And for incoming mail server, pop three dot live, test it, and you're good to go. stuff in there but it's worth it it's worth it do worth it to do three rather than just one okay so oh I th actually I think I already got one open I'm gonna put article builder logins in the read in the uh, either the readme file or yeah there's not another file on the desktop I thought there was just check your readme file on the desktop so I'm gonna have article builder logins in there uh, the article builder has a, a 400 point API limit for each day 
Now, if I share these logins with you guys, um, that 400 is going to be eaten up. Like, probably early morning it'll be gone. So, what you can do is take the logins and actually log into articlebuilder.net and make the articles manually in the back. And you can do that on limited times. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I usually set it to about 20 articles, which is the highest you can go. Uh, I only use super spun content for search engine raker because usually in each of the Sanuk module there, modules there's about around roughly 20 sites to submit articles to. So uh, just hit build my article. Uh, actually, there's one thing I need to show you. In advanced options, spin articles together. Uh, you want to do that so that each site gets a different article. Copy it. And we'll take it to Snook. Actually, this ended up being a bookmark one anyway, so let's skip. Let's just paste it here then until we come back to it. Oops. Oh, yeah, I did want to go there. Okay, we need a bookmark created, and I'm going to use the bio spinner. Now we can grab that art because it puts the title. The first column is the title. Just remember that. And then just replace this title. And that's it. We can preview a sample and it's, it looks really good. Let's grab another one. takes a minute there to paste because it's got to transfer all of this from the server. Looks like it must have just had a, some sort of an error. It was saying max. You've hit your daily limit, but I just refreshed it there. So I'm just going to grab it. Now, don't forget your very top one is the title. Oops. I missed a bracket. Okay, so I just, you get the idea. I just want to show you that method of going into the back panel of Get Article Pro, or not Get Article, Article Builder. So in advanced, op advanced Options, make sure that you have spin articles together. That's all you got to remember. And set it to 20 when you're using SC Nuke. That's all you need. And when you're using GSA Search Engine Ranker, then you want to use super spun content because you're submitting to very very many more sites and it's going to it's it's going to reduce the duplicate content a little bit better and article builder does a way better job at spinning than the best spinner
Okay, that's it. I set this to seven days, and I'll make five of these. Check your balance. Looks like mine's getting pretty low there today. <laughs> I use quite a bit, sometimes between fifty and eighty dollars in the day. If I'm running, if I do all my sites on a Sunday, Monday and Tuesday will both be about eighty bucks. And then after all the accounts are made, then it, it tapers off to about uh, 20, 25 bucks a day. Not even sometimes. Uh, it's it's the account creation that really gets you. But I'm doing all my sites on Sunday, so it does add up. But you got to remember that even though that it, it, I'm paying that kind of money to do this um, for, and spending all that money on CAPTCHAs, if I were to go and hire someone to do the search engine optimization for me, it would be 10 times that amount to spend. Or in, if I outsourced it, it would still even be more. Like if I outsourced somewhere cheap, like the Philippines, you know, you're looking at more money anyways than you are spending on time and CAPTCHAs to do it yourself. So uh, it's just better to just to pay the CAPTCHAs. We have CAPTCHA Sniper on all the servers. Uh, there's a little bit of a compatibility issue with uh, CAPTCHA Breaker and some of the tools. We tested it on our one server here and it doesn't want to cooperate very well with Snook. So uh, we're just going to leave CAPTCHA Sniper on all the other servers. As uh, I've noticed CAPTCHA Breaker does do a pretty good job uh, a little bit better of a job than CAPTCHA Sniper does. Uh, the only difference is CAPTCHA Breaker will send it off uh, to get solved at your third party service automatically if it can't, if it doesn't recognize it. But Sanuk already has that built in with CAPTCHA Sniper. If it doesn't solve it, then it'll send it off. So we'll just leave Sniper on. Um, just wanted to show you search search engine ranker here first of all you want to load all your emails in here all you do is when you buy them from that source they'll send you a little tool and you just paste them in there and it, it will give you them in the proper format so all you will do is come up here and import from clipboard and it just added them so now there's a bunch and like I said they're already redirected to your inbox you don't have to do the spam folder thing uh, let me just show you how I set up the modules here so for one module I will only set up an article an article module or in one campaign I'll only set up an article module and the reason for that is because sometimes I notice that if I set, uh, set up all of them, the articles don't get favored as much, and I won't see barely any of them. Uh, I've already been letting this one run on just articles for. The, uh, I actually just stopped it a little while ago, but it submitted 129 articles in like I don't know. It must have been 15 minutes. So I, I'd rather much just make a campaign for just articles and then make another campaign for even just all of them after that uh, all except for the article on the next one so I'm just gonna go through some of the settings obviously you add your URL there I showed you the email accounts um, if it's just one URL then it doesn't matter if that's in there I use the URL var variations, just changes some of the letters to capitals here and there. And put all your keywords right here, separated by commas, and then click the count just to make sure it got them. So I got eight. Uh, collect keywords from target sites. I've been playing around with that just to see how that works. And use collected keywords to find new target sites, and I'm playing around with that too. I'm just testing it out it sounds like it could be it could really work and obviously we're gonna use keywords as anchor text that is a must we want to be pointless then if we weren't using our keywords for our anchor text and use anchor text with variations that's the same thing as the top one so we're just gonna change some of the letters to capitals 
so it looks like a different submitter every time. So the only real tricky thing out of setting up this module is putting the categories in. So what I do is I go and check in Sanuk's categories. You want to take a look under let me see an article directory oops don't want that one So all you just take a look and see what categories that. And I did the stupid thing of picking computers on my vapor cigarette one at the beginning of the wizard. So I'm going to do it again. So just skim through here and see what other article directories are using for categories and that's all I did and then put them in here arts and entertainment seems like it's one of it's probably about 70 percent of them I noticed so pick that one and I just put health and wellness health and medical all ones that I found in the Sanuk article directory so just make a short description here uh, basically all I do is grab the Sanuk bio spinner right here and spin up a bookmark description and throw it in there and that is for PHP link articles PHP link article login the about yourself already comes in there and I'm happy with that it already has predefined names and a huge database of different uh, addresses and names and I find that that's different every single time you can just leave that so the only thing that we're gonna do that's different in here is we're gonna grab a article from article builder again and we're gonna put the title here the article here and remember the first column is always the title spun so you gotta take the top one and put it here and then the article summary all I do is take the first paragraph of the body of the article and just paste it in here and that's it that's all you do for the article one so if you're gonna set up a new one for for your campaign uh, what I've been doing is just going through all of them and just pick a bunch of them but you can what you can do is do a campaign for each individual one of these and then point them and then make link wheels um, like right here this is where you select it so for example uh, I'm just gonna make bookmarks this time do 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 and all I want to do is point all of these bookmark sites at my vapor cigarette success URLs that come out of this campaign so I'm gonna click use verified URLs of another project and I'm gonna point it at vapor cigarette online so every all these bookmarks will be bookmarking or be, be pointed at the URLs made from this campaign, all the articles. Uh, so that's pretty. That's a really good way of making. It's the same thing as Sanuk, only you can't see the diagram in front of you. Um, you have just as much control over it doing it this way. Uh, you can make another campaign with just um, with just forums. Where's the forums? Right here, and just point forums at even just the bookmarks you can point the forums at just the bookmark modules whatever you want to do so I thought that was a pretty cool feature and if you have any questions about that just open a 
ticket to support at extremeseotools.com. It's pretty straightforward how to go through here and fill out the descriptions. And it has help. You just hover over the help and it tells you exactly what to do. It's just the same what you would do in Sanook is fill in all the descriptions and, and the titles and whatnot. Um, I just wanted to show you basically the main feature there of making the link wheels and putting the emails in there and where to get the emails. Uh, that's pretty important. Uh, the last thing I just wanted to talk about before I uh, I'm running pretty short of time here. I got three minutes before I run over the deadline of being able to upload this video. Um, the indexer is you don't have to worry about GS the search engine ranker uh, all those URLs getting indexed because they send it here already. And I just want to you know really get the point across that using Sanook with GSA search engine ranker is uh, very very powerful. Uh, I've been using them both together now for three or four months and I am astonished at the results that I get from it. So with all of your Sanuki URLs that you get oops you want to make sure that they're all getting I need to make sure that there's a URL somewhere but there's not it's not done yet so just click on your URLs tab. Your campaign will probably finish up. Uh, it's, well, mine is seven days because I set it for seven days. And you'll see a number here. Just click on it and grab the grab all of the URLs that are in here. And then you have to click on each one of these boxes individually. It's a pain in the butt, but that's okay. You need all of all of those indexed. Make a file on your desktop. put all of the URLs in, the, in a notepad every single one of them out of every single one of these modules especially the RSS ones don't let those ones go just because they're RSS they're the most important ones because they hold all of the URLs to your sites so we're gonna index all of these we're gonna stop it if it's running I think we actually have to st we have to stop it I think like turn it right off I mean oh there we go okay so we want to add multiple URLs we press import and then we just find that file on our desktop and that's it easy as that and then all of your files are indexed and this indexer here I've got to say is the best indexer that I've come across online uh, and I've been online now for four or five years uh, and this one does the job very 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 good so give that a shot see how you like it um, I'll, I'll make another video about scraping keywords with Scrapebox using hreefer to um, scrape forums for XRummer and then we're going to post a job with XRummer tomorrow uh, and that'll be the last video I might do another video with Scrapebox yet I'm not sure um, but that should be good for now for today have a good one